Hi, this is Farrell Dowerpole. Welcome to the next set of daily drawing time lapse video compilation. It's the drawings 295 through 302. So we just have seven this time, which is a week's worth, but I think I might have missed a day in there. So I think it's been a little longer than a week since last time, but I'm going to try to catch up today or at least make a dent and so I think I'm like a month behind now <laughs> but um they're all going to be tarot cards until I finish which I think I have like 10 more to go or something um and then I'm going to try to get back to doing these in 20 minutes again because it's been way too long on these but um I'm like a broken record so that was the five of swords and uh these are all done with watercolor and I do the tarot cards with a brush as opposed to a pen which is kind of how I do my normal just doodling type thing. Uh, this next one here is the uh, something of sword, king of swords, and I used my character. Usually I just make up something based off the Rider Waite decks, but um, uh, Pamela Coleman Smith, I think is the artist's name of those. But uh, sometimes I'll put in my own characters if it feels fitting, and since like Bance necessarily isn't known for his swordsmanship, but he's like the best fighter in the wrenchies. So I just thought, oh, I'll put him as the king of swords because it's kind of war and fighting, that type of thing. And I did a thing here where I, I finished it and I was pretty happy with it, except for the fox, the coyote's face. I didn't really, so I went back later and worked on it some more. And now looking at him like, ah, oh, man, maybe I overworked that a bit, but <laughs> um, there's a little shot at my desk there. Um, so the brush I'm using too for all these, oh, so this one is not a tarot. Okay, so a couple of these aren't, uh, and you'll see here that I'm using a Faber-Castell pit pen, probably a size S or XS because they're the two that I have sitting there. Um, yeah, so uh, someone asked me on my Patreon, I think there was actually kind of a mix up with the tarot, they asked for a tarot and someone else got it or vice versa or Maybe this person just, I think, just suggested this. I, I might be wrong about that. But anyway, they asked for a cyborg cowboy, <laughs> I think was their request. And I, I just kind of assumed that meant like a gunslinger type character. So just made like a sort of a robotic cyborgian type thing. I just pencil first and then I went over with a pen. Um, I, don't, I haven't drawn in my sketchbook too much in the last few years. Uh, Barely at all. Uh, when I do, I usually use one of these pens. I don't know. Uh, and I don't pencil at first. But for these daily, that was the idea originally with the daily drawings, too, is that I was just going to go straight in with ink and not, you know, be too fussy about it. But that kind of went away, like, right away. But um, being as that I have basically, like, a little more than December left to finish these, I'm going to, after I'm done with the tarot, which hopefully will be today, I'm going to get into just drawing like quick drawings and uh, keeping them under 20 minutes. And um, yeah, uh, so yeah, this is the Cyborg Gunslinger, Robot Gunslinger, it's pretty fun. Um, it seemed like that took me less time too than most of these. And so this was the, the person that wanted the other tarot, that's for the other tarot, I think I'd promised it to someone else first and got them mixed up, so sorry about that, but I think it worked out for the best because they wanted uh, another Alice in Wonderland uh, commission anyway. So, and I like drawing these guys. And this time I did the the mock turtle and the griffin doing their little song and dance there. From I just remember that from an old musical where they were like, "Will you won't you join the dance?" And I always liked that scene. So I just even drew a little Alice there in the corner. Uh, so now we're back to the tarot cards, and this one is the Queen of Swords, and I just made up some original character for this. I was I kind of based, I think the original just had like a hand coming out of a clown cloud. Um, hand coming out of a clown would be kind of rad, but um, this uh, this one I just was like, okay, I'll just try to think of like a sort of a godlike warrior woman figure and I just did her avatar blue or <laughs> uh, I guess it's more like Indian mythology blue, which I found out some years back when that movie came out avatar movie that i guess they borrowed a lot of stuff from that um it kind of pseudo spiritualist stuff i guess for that <laughs> for that movie um uh yeah so this one actually i, I used a lot of uh, gouache 
white here uh, with the cloud just because it's usually what I do when I try to render clouds. I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to paint, man. <laughs> I've been doing this for like 30 years or something or 20 something years. And, um, but I, I like the way this came out. Probably it's might be my favorite. This one or the, uh, uh, this, this one, I think maybe be a tie for the, my personal favorite for this week. Uh, and there's something about the opaque blue on the last one, I think was really striking and looks nice in the finished version. Uh, whereas this, I on purpose wanted to keep it really simple because I, this is kind of when I made a decision of like, oh, I got to really crank on these to catch up. <laughs> so I was like, how can I cut corners? And this one I decided, I'm like, well, I'm just going to leave him kind of like Robot Todd or it's like, he's sort of like a silvery color. Um, and that's the finish. And I spent a little less time on it than normal, but um, I was happy with it. So these two here are the last two this week. Um, and this first one was the, uh, I'm having trouble seeing that, is it seven of, six or seven of, uh, I think it's the six of swords. And uh, the, the theme was there was a ferry boat captain with like a couple and uh, I just, I changed a little bit to make it more like the, the, the Styx uh, gondola, gondola driver. I don't know what you call that. The, the death, character, the Grim Reaper that takes you across the river, river sticks. Uh, I just kind of went sort of with that theme and, and now it looks like it has some kind of message like war leads to death or something, which I don't know if it's like the intention of any of the old tarot, but uh, it just seemed kind of fitting to me, but <laughs> um, I'm not a, a tarot expert as I've said before, but uh, these are fun to do to kind of take these idea of the tarot, I guess, and some of the little key moments in in the older ones and try to put it in context of like my world you know like a super natural post-apocalyptic future type place but um yeah i think some of them come out better than others and this one came out okay i, uh, I think the the older one was like she was like a bound figure and i just kind of felt kind of witchy and like dark you know magic kind of thing so i turned it into something like that well, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching this. And if you want to see me do these every day, I'm doing them on Instagram, at least till the end of the year. Instagram, Feral Dial is my Instagram. And then I have a Patreon too, which you probably know that, but I think that's Feral Dial as well. So thanks. Bye.